Now it's time to scrutinize the boys from India. Yes, they've got their strengths, but they've also got a few holes. Let's take a look. Well, there's no doubt batting is their strength. Over the last year, they've performed admirably. You've got Vera Kohli, who's averaging 73 in that particular period. He's got 600s under his belt. Rohit Sharma, 67, 500, 750s. Shikha Darwin, averaging 39, a couple of hundreds, couple of 50s. Then that lower order, Jardin, he stepped in and he's averaging around 50. Dhoni, Kartik, they're all averaging over 40. So they've got that batting depth. If you look at their World Cup performances, Kohli averages 42, Rohit Sharma 47, Shikha Darwin, he steps up there, averages 53. But where the hole is in this batting department if they get to their finals? The boys or the batsmen start to get a few jitters. They all average under 40 except for Rohit Sharma when it comes to finals time. Rohit Sharma averages 44 and he's got a couple of hundreds on his belt. So opposition teams have to look at that and then don't get overawed by this strong batting lineup. Now, let's look at their bowlers. You haven't gone in there with Umish Yadav, your leading wicket taker in 2015. Is that a concern? Yes, in English conditions, he can swing the ball and he swings it out pace, but he hasn't been in the best of form, so he hasn't made the trip. But you've got Sh Shami there who's averaged 17, or got 17 wickets in the last World Cup and was one of your best performers. I think he was necessary to get in there. He's in fine form. And he compliments Boomer. Those two, at the moment, are your leading bowlers. Boomer, good in the power play, can be utilized in the de uh, death as well, and very important in those middle overs. So how they'll construct their bowling, they'll open with Shami, and Bhuvneshwar Kumar, who will try and get swing in those middle overs. If it doesn't work, they bring Boomer on straight away and utilize Boomer in those middle periods to get a breakthrough if need be. But you need Boomer and Hardik Pandya in the death. They're your two death bowlers. Now, if you look at the spin department, Kuldeep Yadav hasn't been performing that well. Are they gonna go with him or are they going to go with Chahal? For me, you've gotta go for Kuldeep. He's got the best strike rate out of all your bowlers. He's a wicket-taking option. When you've got the likes of Boomer, who's able to control the middle periods, as well as Hardik Pandya, who's not a, a wicket-taker, but very good economy, you can apply that pressure from the other end and let Kuldeep Yadav do his business, where he just has to get the ball on, his, on the spot, bowl with variety, and he'll get the breakthrough. So India, for me, are extremely strong. But they've got a couple of bowlers out of form in Bhuvneshwar Kumar and Kuldeep Yadav, which could be an issue at the start of the World Cup. And when they get to the finals, can they get over those jitters of batsmen? Good luck to India.